for to whoever it may concern. First and foremost, my name is Luis Julian Flores Gomez. At the time this video was made, I am 17 years old, currently residing in a small town called Figueverena in the state of North Carolina. I am originally from an even smaller municipality called Tempual de Sanchez in the Mexican state of Veracruz. I am a mix of child of a mason and a housewife, the firstborn of three kids. I came to America a few months after my first birthday with my mother, and we both originally settled in Raleigh, North Carolina, for the first few years. To begin with, I'd like to describe myself spiritually. Spiritually, I'd consider myself ambiguous. Our family is devotedly Catholic, and although I consider myself Catholic too, I actually have more of a romantic viewpoint in life, appreciating nature, but at the same time, rejecting both theism and religion. And that shows through my doings. I've studied both the Bible and Quran religiously, and used the teachings of both the Prophet Muhammad and Jesus Christ in my everyday life. In my spare time, I study Aztec mythology. Over my middle and high school careers, I've written a couple of novels based on a few of the thousands of Aztec gods that exist in Aztec culture, most having to deal with sexual gratification. And how our idea of sexuality alludes to that of the ideologies that ancient Aztecs shared well before our time, digging deep into a, a human psychology when it comes to us as people with sexual desires. I know it sounds weird, but it's more important than you think. I've also done research about indigenous botany, or the curing of diseases and ailments with either incense or herbs, which has encouraged me to pursue medicine as a profession in order to decrypt the connection between alternative and indigenous medicine when it comes to modern medicine, therefore ending the stigma over alternative mes medicine completely. I'll save the academics and extracurriculars for my resume. As a person, I consider myself ambiguous, neither here nor there, never in one place. But I also consider myself as someone who desires success just like any other person. I'm not special, but my inhibitions keep me from ever giving up. And I think that's all that matters.